Hello beautiful people, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the number one trending show. It is the show where ladies, beautiful ladies, mm -hmm. give their two cents on trending issues ranging from entertainment, lifestyle, politics, what have you. And I'm so excited. My name is Mary Emanuel and I will use this opportunity to, you know, introduce them. They're so hot. I'm going to be going with Alexis. Maybe, maybe, what is this? Is this the period? Are you turned on? Is she, is she, is she, is she, you guys are hot. I, she 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 come on, see, see, fine you girls. Uh, <laughs> so let's meet you. Okay, so my name is Gabriel Ebu, and you can also call me Gabby. And of course, you are welcome to my two cents. All right, my name is Alexis Fabia, and welcome to my two cents. My name is Magdalene Tuku. You can call me Maggie, and this is my two cents. You know what? I go by the name Ada Blessing Omaleko, and this is my two cents. Trust me, you're going to have fun. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a roller coaster of fun. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we've talked about fun, this may not exactly be a fun topic, but it's the one we have to start off with. Okay. okay. So um, I'll tell you about a woman who is a mother and also a celebrity, and she talks about her child being bullied in school. And she says, mm -hmm. um, this teacher is bullying my child because this teacher doesn't like me. So let's take a look at um, that particular comment. Okay, so now, um, the big question now with all of this is, of course, we know that bullying has been happening, um, you know, but most times it's, it's, it's maybe seniors in a school, mm. like in a boarding school, boarding bullying school. a child, you know, but there's also the, you know, talk of sometimes it feels like teachers actually bully students. Yes. So now, um, what's your take on this, this topic? Let me start with you, Alexis. Okay, so I feel like, first off, that, that teacher is not... Um, qualified to be a teacher yeah because most of the time that child is in your care right so the parents are actually leaving or leaving the children in your care mm. so this child in particular or this teacher in particular she wasn't exactly teaching her mm. she wasn't her class teacher but you could see that she would either either leave what she's doing and then come to the girls class to come and bully her yeah so that's why i feel like she's not qualified to be a teacher i think she has a problem somewhere okay. maybe she was bullied or so i don't understand why you don't like somebody else and you're taking it out on somebody else okay so i have something to say um inside information i happen to know a little bit more about the story than maybe anyone else okay. mm. so now the thing is that's that person this teacher in question is not just a teacher okay. she happened to be like a um an authority you know higher than a class teacher so she's supposed to be like supervising mm -hmm. so we can't say she's not allowed to come into that you know pupils class because she's like a supervisor no i, did, I didn't say that she's not allowed what i'm mm -hmm. saying is it's not like if you were always seeing this child in the class Gee, yeah. if she was her class teacher that means you're always seeing this child but the fact that you have to leave whatever you're doing and then come and start bullying this child that's a bigger problem that we can see here do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I am like the same classroom. Her point. Yeah. She's not a qualified teacher. And you know, these days in Nigeria, uh, people get some positions not based on merit, mm -hmm. based on connection. True. I think this is one of those cases where um, someone's father owns the school and he brings in his sister's brother, daughter, cousin. cousin. So what are you saying? And Mary? the whole family. I feel mm -hmm. that person in the first place is not a teacher. So she was just opportune to be in that school at that time. And she's not she's an illiterate, an educated wow. illiterate. Yes. For you to carry like a beef mm -hmm. and then transfer it to a child. A beef that even the mother didn't know that you have a beef with her. As it, she's she needs to be carried to a psychiatrist. Yeah, okay. 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 okay, so before before it, okay, do you want to say something? Let me understand something. Mm. So this woman, that's the teacher in mm. quotes, has a problem. With Messi Johnson, the mother of the child. Yeah. Okay, it was actually yes. Messi Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. Messi Johnson is a mm. like, Nollywood actress. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And then she comes to the school, mm. which she walks in, yeah. and then carries out her anger mm. on the innocent child. child. Yeah. Mm. And this has been going on yeah. until the child had to cry out to the mother. Yeah. Mm. So, are the, cl the class teacher of the child mm -hmm. going to tell me, he or is she going to tell me that 
he or she did not no. notice that this was going on. Exactly. Or the school mm. authority, nobody knew that this child was being bullied until the child had to go cry home to the parents. Like, yeah. Yeah. So in this setting, I don't, I wouldn't want to say that they might have seen it as bullying. You know when they feel like, oh, she, she's an authority. She should yeah. know better. Maybe mm. she's, you know, um, disciplining this child. They don't know it from the angle that this person has a mental problem. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Just I'll like, hear all, what you have to say it, before I say something. It's all shades of wrong. When mm. I saw the story, first I was trying to make a case for the teacher. Mm. I was like, what if this pupil is actually a very stubborn one? Spoiled. Mm. But then getting reactions from different people and also one of the teachers who made a video coming out to like apologize and actually said that of the truth, this has been going on. And I just felt like we have a lot of work to do yes i think most teachers are actually not teachers by the calling mm. some of them are just there because there is no job mm. right mm. because at, back then i mean we've all been to school mm -hmm. i think teachers people teaching were there for the passion true mm. because you actually have to love yourself love your children and love people's mm. children to treat them for as you yours but then when you are this personality that you know you just feel i don't like this person you cannot transfer the aggression on anyone and that's children. illiteracy I, I, I think the the government should do something should visit that case such people they do exist yeah mm. some teachers you know maltreat children yeah. just because that child looks healthy you know yeah from a rich yeah. home after school nice guy is coming to pick that child up they start punishing that's those children i think we should now focus more on our educational sector irrespective of you know be be it nursery primary or mm. secondary or their institution okay. look at teachers mm. look at the people we entrust our kids you know into exactly. their hands so mm. that we know even while we're not there these kids are safe okay, okay. so speaking, I have something to say about kids that. being bullied mm. sorry to purchase mm. a point i remember when i was in primary school my natural hair is actually yellowish mm. like mm. i have this albino like hair mm -hmm. so okay. there was this teacher that was always picking on me she wow. thought my mom because Diary. my mom runs a salon she's a stylist oh. yeah so she thought my mom dyed my hair so to a point, there was a day my mom did packing gel, then the packing gel was ringing, mm -hmm. she packed it up, wrapped it. This teacher actually had to come into the class, cut out my hair to make sure there was no oh, weave no. mm -hmm. attached yes, to it. People are pained. I yes. went home, I told my mom came to this school, ah, my mom is, ah, it's just a bit small. So <laughs> my, mom, serious? my mom is like Mary. So now, what ah, you are you serious right now? <laughs> have, I, have I disciplined you before? <laughs> sorry, sorry, let me go, but I'm also coming through this angle. Okay. What if the teacher's aggression, which is not supposed to be, mm. is coming from the part where, you know, as parents go to school, sometimes they find some teacher smarting. Eh, look after my child. Really? Yeah, okay, even when okay. I was in primary yeah, school, that happened. No, 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 no. You know, that sorry. shouldn't come. I think it's important to teacher. Come look after my word. Come yeah, come in, come in. Yes, exactly. The door is open. So here's the thing. We are looking at the story from the narration of one person. Yeah. Let's be very careful with how we're plating our judgment. Oh, mm -hmm. So you want to say that this something is right about this teacher? No. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, I'm not so what other angle is Okay, so first. No, I was going to say something too, but you're going to say this first. Let me say something. So here's the thing. My mother's been a teacher for like 30 years. My too. Now, I've been through school, of course, as you all can probably tell. Wow. I've been through, you know, I've... I've <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably, go. probably tell. But the thing is, I've been through different, you know, teachers teaching me, you know, so I know what it is like, you know, to both be a pupil, but I also know what it is like to be a teacher's kid. Uh -huh. So I can see from two angles, and I always try to do that with any story that I'm addressing. Okay. So it's important to look at, yes, she narrated and said I was bullied, you know, mm. her child was bullied, but what if it could have been a case of, um, um, what's it called now? Being, um, maybe she just didn't like the fact that, you know, I'm sorry. trying to discipline your child. Gabby, no, I'm no, sorry. Giving an example. So wait, Gabby, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. no, 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 no let me, let me follow this. I, just, I, I, got no, I said what if. I didn't no, say that. I'm about to tell. So mm. the, the idiot of this story is when mm. this happened, right, Mercy went to the teacher mm. to ask her what's the problem. Mm. And the teacher said, I don't like you. Mm. She, she, she yes, said it. No, she was did. On record. Yes. She, 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 she said it on record. Yes. She was lying. She, was wow. she, she did that. So the yes. that mm. was that maybe the child was stubborn. Okay. This okay. child also even was in that class to say, mm. okay, maybe you're, you're mentoring her or mm. something. She she actually had it in. I was saying, oh, one day I would have to, you know, see Messi face to face. Yeah. And, and talk what, to her, yeah. What, what, how would she do that? Did not getting her attention, attention to bully her child. That. Yes. But then I, I want to say something. Okay. Gabby, you were saying something um just now. You said something about... um being the child of a teacher there's yes. actually a um something different about that are you trying to say that there like there is preferential treatment no. in school okay so let me say this for teachers no. children there's, there's really no preferential treatment um 
my mother teaches, but at the same time, when I went through school, a lot of the times she was never my teacher. I was never in the schools that she taught. So I don't understand what kind of professional treatment was come to me. Like nobody knows my mom is a teacher. So there's no treatment that comes to me. So first of all, I'm going to put out that my mom is one of those um, really, really, really great teachers. Mm -hmm. You know, so and she has been in the profession for a very, very, very long time. So if I was, I was bullied many times, you know, in school. Yeah, I was teachers. as well. And my mother, knowing that she doesn't do that to other people's children, would come and fight for me. Because the kind of school where she works in, there's some, you can't do certain things, to be honest. You know, but some of the schools that I went through, teachers could do almost anything to children. Wow. So she would always fight for the rights. So I understand what it is to both be, like, you know, maybe a so teacher. If, so if you were the parents, parent. what would you do? If I was a parent. Mm. Okay, so now that I understand the situation way deeper, mm. you know, that she was actually on video saying that I don't like you. That's of course something. Did she even say why she did not like Messi? Messi That's entirely different. Yeah. No, she, she, she did. Like the characters. She's mm. so, you know, some okay, people, so we don't have, understand we don't understand this. We have to exactly say why. But Basically. If we're going to be honest, okay, we so have musical artists that we don't like, right? Mm. Yeah, but, but you don't do that. that You're a yeah. teacher. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But if so, she some admitted people are shallow on minded. camera, then we obviously understand the intention. We understand the reason why she was doing that act. So now let's move away. Ah, no. ah, no. Oh, come oh, yeah. on. Oh, yeah. come, come on. <laughs> I was, <laughs> no, no, no. I was actually mm. bullied. One of the reasons why I don't have female friends today. Mm. You don't ah. have female friends at all, is that what you're saying? Yeah. What are we to you? What? You don't have female friends at what? all. What? What? So move on, move on. Move what? You said what? Move on. You said what? Move on. Look, the fact that I said that doesn't mean that I don't have sisters oh. yeah like from oh other yes no i know what i'm saying yeah, like you gather friends girl. yeah you gather friends yeah. you gather you have acquaintances mm. and then you have sisters oh, i know what i'm saying so i'm trying to say i was badly bullied mm. in school and um there was the only reason i'd be the only way i could um outgrow that was to fight back mm. now looking at this oh, bullying no i had to <laughs> yes no i had to and then she stopped. Everybody respected me. Till I, even the guys. Because I handled her like You're a man. Guys. Yeah, I, I used to though. But it's okay. Um, <laughs> so um, what am I saying? I'm, I'm, let's talk about this bullying now. How, how do we put a stop to bullying in schools? Because it's still there. As we speak right now, someone is being bullied. Okay, yeah. so maybe um, actually took the words the out of my mouth. Yeah. Seriously. Because that's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say, let's move away. So now this woman knows that she's a celebrity I don't like, like the personal issues. Mm, so yeah. we, can take, we can take the conversation away from there to now right. say, let's address, let's talk about bullying. Yeah. 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 Non-celebrity kids, just yeah. regular people, you know, and you're experiencing bullying. I feel like that's sort of slowly fading away compared to the time that I was in school. Mm. No, I, I feel like so you're, 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 not, you're, not, you're not in that, yes, that yes. Yes, no. But in this in this day and age, I feel like a lot of parents are really ready to take legal action against any teacher that bullies. Not of all, course though. They should. So it's not as it used to be before. And that's and that's more aware. And that's, that's if we even have pupils that are actually speaking of some of them. Yeah. Exactly what I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them actually out. just you know. But like I, I didn't, yeah. I didn't. My mom is a teacher as well. Okay. I, my as, my mom will literally come to school and beat age, up that maybe. person. Mm. Maybe when did you speak up? When did you no, I fought. When? Almost what age? When? I was eight what years plan? old. Eight? Okay. Yes. I, I beat up Faith. No, that, that was her name. Eight. Okay, so this let was me, not a teacher. This was a, another student. Yeah, yeah, another... No, no, it wasn't a teacher. I'm talking about bullying. No, you know? Now, you see this... Oh, okay. yes. You see this uh, bully of a thing. It ranges from teachers to mm. pupils yeah. to themselves. Yeah, yeah. Students. Wide, I mean. And um, Alexis actually made a very vital point. Mm -hmm. I think it's high time parents start being friends to their children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because trust me if your child is not your friend your child will be scared of even coming oh, back to tell you, you exactly. that, hey someone bullied me mm. i think it was two weeks ago i called an aunt of mine uh she stays in port harcourt nigeria i called her and she wasn't at home so her kids picked up i think her first child is five the second mm. is three so i just normally I would, I would have been like all right tell your mom i called mm. off but i told her i was compelled to have a conversation with them mm. and i was started how is school you know, kids, fine, mm. one liner. Okay, have you eaten? Yes, mm. this. Wanted to hang up, and I said, okay, who is that person disturbing you in school? I just asked him. And he was like, oh, nobody. Oh, oh there's somebody called David. He knocked me on my head. What did you do? I was just eating. He said I should give him, and I said, no, he ah. knocked me. Did well, you tell exactly. mommy? It's still no. happening. Mm. Wow. It's still happening. Do you understand? Mm. I was like, why didn't you tell mommy? Nothing. She did not ask. Do you see? Huh. And Ooh. the next day, I called my aunt. I was like, I think you should be talking to your son more. 
Mm. There is somebody called David. Whenever you pray, go to his school, talk sense to that boy, mm. warn him. Someone is bullying your child. Mm. Now she got to know from her sister's daughter. Do you understand her wow. niece? Mm. So I think aside children being open to talk to parents, at that age, some oh, of them are scared of our parents. They're scared yeah. of their parents mm. rather. Because mm. some parents are disciplinarian. Yeah. Yes. Feel, ah, if I come back and tell my mom, my mom might feel I am yeah. being intimidated yeah. in school, someone is bullying mm. me. Instead of me to fight back, I'm now the weakling. Yeah. They just hold no, back. No, 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 my parents came so, from my parents will tell you if you go out there and your mate beats you, and you come back here and tell me that Now that's the thing. So please don't get them back to tell you that someone is So what if they are not able to give me the courage to stand up for myself? So so that's you. So if a child cannot stand up for himself, for mm. him or herself, he feels like, oh, I'm a failure. I'm a failure. How will I go and tell, tell my mom, my mom that mom my mates mm. beat me. me? Okay, so I'm, I'm so, so, I'm so sorry. sorry. So <laughs> parents, so sorry get closer to your kids, talk mm. to them some more. Just ask them random questions. Who is that person you like exactly. in class? Who is that person you don't like? That child will tell you why. Yeah, okay, yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. this person. Right? Why? Do you okay. understand? Yeah. So I your think, kids more. I really think Ada has made like a really great point, honestly, mm. and all of us as well. But now the thing is, we talk about kids bullying other kids in school. Mm. You know, but now the truth is, the culture of discipline sort of seems to be fading a little bit deep. As, oh, so Gabby, now, Gabby, that's how true. do you as, okay, you're not, none of us here are teachers, but like, how does a teacher, for example, in this age where parents are very, very aware of, you know, what bullying is and everything, mm. how can a, a a teacher, for example, draw that line. In those days, it was easy to discipline the, um, another person's child without that person feeling like, you know, you have any in, you know, bad motive or any intense. personal intention, yeah. Yeah. you know. Now it's harder. So you see a lot of people, even teachers, see, you know, kids do something that's wrong, but they just don't want to do too much anymore. Yeah. So it's like, oh, if I, if I say stop it or if I say certain things to you to just warn you or to discipline you, I don't know what's going to come for me because that's what's happening. So the culture of discipline is fading. It's more or less like only the parents of a child can actually discipline a child. So do you think that's right? Or where do you think the line can be drawn for somebody who is educating other people's children to be able to instill discipline? I, I, I think uh, they should do more of orientation. Like add it to the curriculum. Gather children around. Tell them about bullying. Yes. No, the parents. That one's a different. I'm talking about like the school. Like make it one um, session in the school assembly. Always talk about bullying because these days, you know, we have a jeboyish kind of parents. Now, if you touch my child, no, that, that school, beats my children. I still believe in sparing the world and spoiling the child. Though you can beat my child, but don't discipline. Actually, yes. without beating, mm -hmm. but I'm just talking about discipline in general. I think there are different like, forms of corporal punishment. Mm. Okay, sorry. Just speaking go. of discipline in general, I know that, like you said, actually the idea of discipline is seriously deteriorating mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to be very very blunt I think it is coming from the home yeah, the I mean I saw a video some months ago I don't know if it's a month or last year of SS2 of the SS3 students that drove Venza the car Venza mm -hmm. to school the car actually belongs to the, I think they call themselves no 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 that that guy no it was a it was into voice? fraudulent acts okay. So I, if that's the same story, that student was uh, fraudulent. But it was then, what we call Yahoo boy. Yeah, but then he's a student yeah. in a school, yeah. secondary school. He comes from a home. Mm -hmm. Now, before the school comes into play, he comes from a home. Definitely. His mm. parents are aware that his mm. child is doing this. Mm. And he's done it to that point of acquiring a car. Yeah. Yeah. And if you yeah. not even put a stop to it, okay, you've done this mm. thing, ah. fine, we don't have You know mm. that some parents keep this car at home. They let him drove the car to school mm. and when a particular teacher was saying you cannot keep this car you know i mean the whole school went and god you know how students are mm. yeah, yeah yeah they started harassing the teacher i think Imagine. he got a slap yeah he got a slap and then he got wow. online until today the parents said nothing about it nobody even wow. came out to speak for the okay, teacher sure. i like the fact that so maggie pointed is, out that parents are not doing well some parents mm. are not doing well so, okay so she's pointing out that it's, it's really not from the school per se even though you know some parents yeah. yes. yes right thank you for pointing that out yeah thank you